Just the two of us. Well, maybe three. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Sandra Frost and I like to review things. And today, I know I said in my previous videos that I would be getting more play exercise. And what did I do? I broke my own word and I got Rufish. I got Shira because I wanted him so much and I was really torn because of the faces that are coming out of the Play Arts series right now are not up to my... I just don't want to buy them. Like They just they feel so expressionless, but I feel like that might work for Shinra because he's so, he's so guarded with his feelings in the, the whole series and I think it turned out to be okay this time with this figure. We're gonna go and do a deep dive today. Stay tuned. Starting off with the front of the box, it's very generic pose they have. And we're going to the side, and it says his name, Rufus Shinrun with Play Arts Kai. The back with his different poses. Really nice, matches. The other side is the same as the other. We're going to the top. And then at the bottom. Oh! <laughs> Butterfingers. And then we open it up and it has that little story in the little window, which I really love the design of these boxes. They never disappoint. Before we go in, please like, comment, and subscribe for more review videos. I do have the Game Toy Sephiroth coming. It is stuck in mailing hell. It says it's in China right now, but it's been in China since November, so I really hope it's coming towards the end of February. We'll, we'll see. As always, I get my figures from Ami Ami. I pre-ordered him. I dropped my pre-order and then I ordered again. <laughs> interesting it's not the same as I usually do because I did have him pre-ordered before but since I was really mad at the Sephiroth that came out of this new remake line I dropped all pre-orders so I had to order him again and he was retailing at 129 129 I think so as always I try to be really careful with opening the boxes to keep them mint I don't resell my play arts but just in case so here he is right here the light sorry I think that's what I'm talking about like I think the the expressionless faces that are coming out of this line really work with Rufus because like I said he's very reserved very like just get this shit done right now like kind of guy um, but I do have him with his kind of little cheeky like haha got you um, smile he comes with five extra hands two of his guns. I also have the old Shinra. I think he's one of my favorites actually because he came with so little and I think he's just great. I His face is kind of doo-doo so I think in this instance of facial, we'll, we'll, we'll do all that but I think the face on this new one looks better but we're going to compare at the end, I mean towards the later half of this video. He also comes with these what I call the bring arts um holders <laughs> stands they're called stands i call them the bring art stands because they just look exactly like the bring arts they don't look anything like the older play arts um i think it's better no i'm not gonna say that because the surface area compared to the figure i think it well it depends on the figure like sephiroth might have been a little bit too heavy for this um but shinra might work so we'll, we'll see i don't usually use them so five hands the jacket is really well painted i don't see any scuffs i like that metallic paint on his belt was costly. his outfit is very very bland but i mean obviously with tetsuo and Nomura, you had to add more belts but it's very bland and i guess that's easy to do with these figures oh his little foot came back his guns shoddy really well painted i just like love the sight detail it's just every nook and cranny they could have thought of is well sculpted well painted 
I really hope he grips onto these easily. I would hope so. I mean, how could you get a gun wielding character's hands wrong? One that splits apart. Oh man. Just comparing this. Sorry, I just got my took my fake nails off. My hands are broken. Comparing his older gun to this, like holy heck. Just look at the gold. So much better. It comes with a lot of protective plastic, which I appreciate. Just in case any damage in shipping, I would, I would think. He does have a a very fresh set of plastic to him. I guess it's nice. If you're a figure collector, I don't know. What would you guys say? Do you guys appreciate that new figure smell to move much? Like these little trip pants, I would like to call them from middle school, are totally like, I would say hinder it, but actually they don't. Like he can, he can bust it open. It's busted open approved. Oh yes, <laughs> he could definitely bust it open. And you could just stand like that and that could be a pose for him. <laughs> I'm just loving the attention to detail with these belts. I mean, it's it's Final Fantasy right now. How are you gonna miss belts? And they did a really good job. I'm actually really excited to see what they do with, with a like a Vincent remake, just because I know he's gonna be very belty. Um, his hair sculpt is actually really good. I cannot complain. It's actually much better than the older one, and it was just a different style too back then. Well, and I saw that kind of like argument like with the the remake Sephiroth where they do he does look like he does in the game I just really preferred his advent children look and just the facial sculpt with this facial sculpt it's you know not heavily contoured it's very like I said bland like his very dead eye but he kind of looks you know he looks like he does in the game and I can really appreciate that because he looks really cute in the game so nothing obstructs his arm which is nice he can go out and you can see kind of that. So <laughs> I would hope he doesn't do this kind of pose, um, but his arm is very flexible. It doesn't go back at all, not at all. That's probably the only part that obstructs. But there's a lot of, well, you can actually see into the figure. Ooh, that's awkward. You can totally just see into it. Um, I hope you're not doing any poses that are just dead ass in his in his body um he doesn't turn much and he can't bend it backward there's just there's too much going on with this jacket his head can look down can look around could he do a 360 no because his um his jacket up here it's a lot of structure of the jacket but you're not going to be making him do gymnastics that's just not his. i call him my shitty little capitalist so i'm gonna remove this normal head and put on his kind of smirking face. I think I actually appreciate that much better. Give him a little bit more snarkiness. Like I already have him looking badass, like that's cool. I'm gonna have them stand next to each other and he's gonna stand next to Cloud, like in the fight at the, towards the end of remake. So let me switch that off right now and be very careful. You know, I just filmed that a good smile and I was very nervous about removing pieces. And I shouldn't have been because Good Smile is very flexible and very durable. But Play Arts, as you know, is not. So I'm going to look at these instructions and see how to, his, to remove his head. I'll be right back. Well, actually, they made it really simple this time. You just have to pop his head off like a dang Barbie and then put it back onto the ball joint. Next, I'm putting on his little coin holder hand show off some money. I wonder how many of these coins he keeps in his pockets, but honestly, he's wearing like trap pants, and so there's probably a good amount of pockets. Like, where is he pulling these from? <laughs> this man probably like sounds so loud when he walks, like jingling, like Mr. Moneybag Scrooge McDuck over here. <laughs> you know what's funny about some of Nomura's um, designs? Why is his belt out here in the... <laughs> not over his clothes like <laughs> just choices Nomura choices like this man a multi like billionaire and this man <laughs> I don't know he nearly has like Doc Martens on like I 
know they're expensive shoe, but <laughs> choices. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna be putting this gun on him. And it says I can take off the bottom, which is there. There's a little. Oh god, this is really scary. <laughs> okay, it comes off for easy accessibility. And oh my god, I've probably been doing it wrong this whole fucking time. <laughs> I didn't do this off camera, but this part slips out and then his hand goes on here. And then I am going to put it on his little stud. Just jingle it in there real nice. You don't want to be rude to the play arts or they will snap. I never had one snap on me. I don't know why I'm so scared, but it's good to be a little bit cautious. Look at him. He said, knock if you buck. <laughs> so he's ready. Like, I wish they had like a dark star for him. That'd be really I freaking show you the differences of the newer Pager versus the old one. You just see he's like really bulky and really ripped. I don't, now thinking about it, I don't think Rufus would be really ripped. And this shading they used is just really a sign of its time. It's very poorly aged play art so I really do enjoy this figure overall and you can see like the shading which really works well on Sephiroth but does not work well on Rufus and just age all the age on this figure this one obviously isn't age much better shading is like a nice darker grays like kind of a blue in the sense but a really darker grayish blue I think he's amazing. His hair is nicely colored. It's not some weird um, shading choices like the ones here where it's like heavy blacks out of nowhere and painting is very rough obviously. This is just well, well designed, well made, well handled hair. It looks so great. I'm so glad I bought him. <laughs> What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Overall, I think Rufus is my second favorite remake figure so far. I think he's just amazingly solid. And comparing him to the Cloud, like, yes. He is one of the greatest. Um, I don't even put Cloud and Sephiroth together. That's how much I didn't like Sephiroth. <laughs> I actually have Sephiroth up here. He's um, right there, just chilling with the rest of them. Um, I'm gonna put them together and pose them like they would in their fight on top of Shinra Tower. This is, honestly, I recommend this one. I know I wasn't a big fan of the remake series so far, but this one is a definitely get. If you have the old Rufus and you're like, wow, that one's really dated, definitely get this one. Definitely get it if you are a fan of remake in general. It is a really nice figure for its price. I think if they turn out more like these, we'll be getting somewhere. We'll begin somewhere. I do think my next video is gonna be either the Sephiroth um, little doll they made again or the game toys. I'm not sure because I don't hardly have any other um, figures coming. I really canceled, I did cancel all of them. I even canceled the Red 13 one so I was just like, I don't know. Um, but maybe I'll make like a convention video. We'll see, like conventions during COVID. I don't know. We'll see. I Like I said, I am going to two in the next uh, two months. We'll see how that goes. Um, let me know what y'all want to see. Maybe I'll put in my haul video. I think me and my husband are probably going to get more storage units that are actually good looking. So I can maybe film that once I get those glass storage units for my figures. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching today. Let me know what you like most in the comments. Um, subscribe and share with your figure review friends. Otherwise, this was Sandra Faust. And I am out. See you later, y'all.